Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about a new differential pair check that's been introduced in the AllCAD PCB Professional License at Hotfix 48, which was QIR 7 of 17.2. Um, and what this does is allow you to look at um, the overall length of the differential pair, the way it's rooted, um, and every time it, you look at a specific length, uh, there's a tolerance um, to make sure that they're matching in length as you go down the route. Um, this can be much better from a high-speed signal point of view, making sure that the length is matching um, that can stop skew and things like that. So, so what we need to do is um, look at Constraint Manager. So, in an AllCAD Professional license, um, there used to be, or there is, the static phase tolerance, which is effectively an overall check that just looks at the overall length from start to finish. Um, we've now effectively got a dynamic phase check, which gives us a maximum length and tolerance. So, if I specify a max length of say seven and a half. And the tolerance of 0.254. What this will do is look at every seven and a half millimeters. They should be within um, length matching of, of 0.254 of a millimeter. So as soon as I enable the DRC, you'll see I get these kind of this phase loop line going through the middle of this DRC bar to give me an indication of where we've started to go out of phase. And um, there's a really useful um, display option. So if we look under setup design parameters on the display tab, there's something called the the diff pair driver pins. So this will indicate effectively where the driver is, where the receiver is, so I can then work out where I need to add the delay. So we can use the root phase tune command to add some bumps to try and correct the DRCs. So we've got one there. Let's go there. Put one in there. So once I get the length matching, the DRC disappears, and you can see effectively, if I go back to Constraint Manager, we'll actually look at the net routing. Let's just analyze that. You can see I'm actually meeting the constraints. 